Hi everyone, good to see you again. I have finished explaining most of the software functions of TVS1000. Now I would like to take a look beyond the live production. Today I would like to talk about Virtual Studio backgrounds. How can you easily create a professional Virtual Studio background yourself? Well, in general there are three types of virtual backgrounds. The first type is a real scene made from a photograph. The second type is a background designed in 3D software. And the last type is a combination of a photograph integrated into a virtual background. Many people would find it hard to create virtual backgrounds. But with the virtual set maker, it will become a very easy task to do. Next, let's try it out together. And I'm sure after some practice, you can also easily create the virtual background that you want. For instance, on a visit to a tourist attraction, you can take out your camera and take several pictures of the different sites. After you return, you import the photos into TVS1000 and then open the third function on the TVS1000 startup page, the Virtual Set Maker. Now you're all set to start creating your own virtual background. After we're in, you will be able to see three areas. In the center is the preview window. On the right hand side, you will see the sequence of the graphic layers. The layer shown on top will, be, will appear above all the other layers. At the bottoms are the fields of photographic properties. First of all, click on New Layer, which is located on the right hand side. You will then be offered four options to determine the layer property. The first option is Source A, the talent part. The second option is Source B, that's the TV wall. In a virtual studio, you are allowed to select one of the other. Next is about the logo and the background layers. You can stack more layers in this part. First of all, let's select a new background and then choose a picture imported from your camera. The system will automatically load the picture into the virtual studio. After that, we can select a logo. After the picture is imported, you will find that you can use the properties pane at the bottom to adjust the settings, allowing you to zoom in and zoom out and fine tune its position, left, right, up and down, or perform a 3D rotation so that your graphics layer will be better positioned in the virtual studio. Now let's select a new TV wall layer. You can define the TV wall's position, size, rotation, etc. Just as the logo layer. Finally, let's add a new talent layer, which is the talent part and then confirm that the talent layer is placed in front of the background and the TV wall. After everything is determined, fine-tune the relative position between graphic layers. Adjust the properties. And please note that overlapping layers, such as the shoulder or the hand of the tenant blocking a part of the TV, can create a better depth of field relationship and make the program more vivid and natural. Save the file afterwards and return to the startup page after saving. You can also open a built-in virtual background for editing. After loading, you can add other logos or change the scene outside the virtual window. Save the file with a different file name, so as to create a new style. Isn't this an easy tool to operate? Its potential goes even far beyond what I've been describing. Hope you've enjoyed today's demo. See you next time!